The building survey always starts by creating the physical structure. When you have created the room, then sketch in its floor plan. Although it's not necessary to sketch very accurately, it's better to create it as good as possible the first time. When you are done with the sketch, then it's time to measure the wall lengths. To measure the wall lengths, a distance meter can be a great help. Each measurement is reflected on the fly. Orthograph tries to keep the angles as they were originally sketched. If you make more detailed measurements, then these angles will also be updated. When you are done with the measurements, then the room area and perimeter can be displayed on site with just the tap on the Show Measurements tool button. There is also a lot more detailed report available showing the wall and wall opening surfaces and many more. To place down doors or windows, you only need to select the particular tool and tap the wall at the location and move your finger to the opening direction. Wall openings can also be measured as well as having customizable properties. For drawing the second room, first we need to create it in the tree structure. When you are finished, then do the same steps as with the first room. Just sketch and measure it. Measuring a square formed room needs only two measurements if you don't want the exact angles. Place down the same door as in the first room to its proper position, measure it, and then this can be used to stick the actual room to the other one. Just click the matching tool, enter the wall thickness, and then you're done. You can place down as many wall openings and objects as you wish.